Hello everyone, this is Edmund from youinternational.com and in this short video, I'm going to share with you some basic information about fibre and why it is important for your health. So what's covered in this video? We're going to talk about the different classes of fibre, why is fibre important, types of fibre and their health benefits, and how much fibre do I need. What are the classes of fibre? There are generally two types of fibre, one is soluble, and the other one is insoluble. Soluble fiber is sticky and meshes with water to form gel and includes pectins, gua, mucilages, and the fiber in oat bran, barley, dried beans, and other legumes, as you can see in the picture. Okay? So insoluble fiber absorbs large amounts of water as much as 15 times their weight and hence creates soft, bulky stools. Whole wheat, wheat brand products, and the skin of fruits and vegetables are primary sources of insoluble fiber. Why is fiber important? Consistent, adequate fiber intake has been shown to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and coronary heart disease through the lowering of LDL cholesterol levels in your body. Large scale studies involving thousands of people have concluded that people who consumed more than 15 grams of fiber on a daily basis had significant lower risk of diabetes. And people who consumed more than 17 grams of insoluble fiber a day or more than 8 grams of zero fiber a day had lower risk of type 2 diabetes as well. It also plays an important role in the natural relaxation by increasing stool weight. So this will make the stool larger and softer to be easily released from your body and it will reduce the risk of constipation as well. It also plays a role in appetite control. Some fiber-rich foods provide greater satiation since they take a longer time to chew and this will make you feel fuller and reduce your intake of food. Some soluble fibers absorb water and make you feel bloated to reduce your food intake as well. Since a higher fiber intake is associated with a higher consumption of fruits and vegetables, it plays an important role to promote healthy weight in individuals. Many reports in the 1970s have associated an increased risk of colorectal cancer due to a lack of fiber in your diet. However, there is no concrete evidence that this link exists. So it also provides a prebiotic effect and SCFA production, which refers to short-chain fatty acids. Some fermentable fibers like inulin and oligofractose and FOS are known as prebiotics. They alter the composition of your intestine flora by promoting the growth of good bacteria and promotes the production of short-chain fatty acids, also known as SCFA, which helps to maintain your colonic health, regulates the absorption of sodium and water, enhances the absorption of calcium and other minerals. The production of SCFAs also improves your immune function by increasing your resistance to illness and infection. Soluble non-viscous fiber may help to alleviate the symptoms of inflammatory conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, also known as IBS. So moving on to the types of fiber and their health benefits. So the first type of fiber is known as cellulose or some hemicellulose. It belongs to the class of insoluble fiber and the health benefits are it is considered nature's laxative, reduces constipation, lowers risk of diverticulitis, can help with weight loss. So sources of cellulose include nuts, whole wheat, whole grains, bran, seeds, edible brown rice, and skins are produced. So the second type of fiber will be inulin, oligofructose. It belongs to the soluble class of fiber. The health benefits include it may increase good bacteria in the gut and enhance immune function, extracted from onions, and byproducts of sugar production from beets or chicory root 
added to processed foods to boost fiber as well. The third type of fiber would be lignin. It belongs to the insoluble class of fiber. Health benefits, it is good for heart health and possibly immune function. Use caution if you have celiac disease or are gluten intolerant. It can be found naturally in flax, ray, and some vegetables. The fourth type of fiber would be mucilages, also known as beta-glucans. It belongs to the soluble class of fiber. Health benefits include it helps lower bad LDL cholesterol, reduces risk of coronary heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Use caution if you have celiac disease or are gluten intolerant. Sauces can be naturally found in oats, oat bran, beans, peas, barley, flaxseed, berries, soybeans, bananas, oranges, apples, and carrots. The fifth type of fiber will be pectin and gums. It belongs to the soluble class of fiber, although some pectins can be insoluble. Health benefits. It slows the passage of food through the intestinal GI tract, helps lower blood cholesterol. Sources naturally found in fruits, berries, and seeds, also extracted from citrus peel, and other plants boost fiber in processed foods. The sixth type of fiber will be polydextrose polios. It belongs to the soluble class of fiber. Health benefits, it adds bulk to stools, helps prevent constipation, and may cause bloating or gas. Sources include, it is added to processed foods as a bulking agent and sugar substitute. Made from dextrose, sorbitol, and citric acid. The seventh type of fiber will be psyllium, and it belongs to the soluble class of fiber. Health benefits, it helps lower cholesterol and prevent constipation. Sources, extracted from rushed seeds or husks of plantago ovata plant, used in supplements, fiber drinks, and added to foods as well. The eighth type of fiber will be resistance starch. It belongs to the soluble class of fiber. Health benefits, it may help manage weight by increasing fullness, helps control blood sugars. Sources, starch in plant cell walls, naturally found in unripened bananas, oatmeal, and legumes, also extracted and added to processed foods to boost fiber. So the last type of fiber will be wheat dextrin. It belongs to the soluble class of fiber. Health benefits, helps lower cholesterol, LDL and total cholesterol, reduces risk of coronary heart disease and type 2 diabetes, avoid if you have celiac disease or are gluten intolerant. Sources, extracted from wheat starch and widely used to add fiber in processed foods. How much fiber do I need? It is recommended for children and adults to have 14 grams of fiber for every 1,000 kilocalorie that they consumed in their diet. Would you like to learn more about nutrition? Simply visit yourinternational.com slash nutrition-101 for more great information. And please subscribe and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks! Here are other videos on nutrition that you can visit to learn more.